Hello everyone, this is Goose from Godzilla, and today I'm going to be talking about how Aunt Delilah from an old story is an alien, sort of like the aliens that you see in the 16th Give Yourself Goosebumps book, Secret Agent Grandma. So, anyway guys, let's get started with this video. But before I continue, I just want to say that there are going to be spoilers for um, the short story in the Even More Tales to Give You Goosebumps, um, an old story. There are going to be some major spoilers for that one. I'm, I will try my best not to totally ruin the whole story, but yeah, there's going to be some huge spoilers for that one. Also, there's going to be sp some spoilers for Secret Agent Grandma. I myself haven't read the entire book. I'm sort of working on it. Um, uh, don't really like it that much so far, but I am sort of working on it, so I did get some of the plot points that I read off Goosebumps Wiki. So, there are going to be some spoilers, but not that much, since I myself haven't fully read Secret Agent Grandma, guys, but... Anyway, let's get started with this video. Okay, so, just in case you don't know, Aunt Delilah is basically sort of this witch person who appeared in an old story. In uh, this whole short story, uh, she visits her supposed cousins. I, I think it said that she wasn't actually related to them, and it was all just a trick, but it seemed like, it did seem like, basically... She came into the house, said that she was her, their long-lost Aunt Delilah, and uh, she basically kept feeding him some interesting food, um, which turned out to be prunes. And so, um, after the our main protagonist, the main protagonist's brother, kept eating them, they eventually turned into old men. And so, one thing leads to another, I'm not going to get too far into the plot, it's really wild, and I really don't want to spoil it, definitely one of the best stories in even more Tales Give You Goosebumps, or Tales Give You Goosebumps as a whole, but anyway, one thing leads to another, they find um, one of her things to contradict the spell of the prunes, and make themselves young again, and then they pour the prune juice all over Aunt Delilah, and she meets an end. And so, yeah, that's pretty much an old story. Again, one of the best Tales Give You Goosebumps stories by far. Not the best, but, you know, definitely one of the best. I think my favorite out of all of them would be uh, Don't Please Don't Feed the Bears. But anyway, guys, that's beside the point. So, um, the reason I think, though, that Aunt Delilah not only is an evil witch who wants to turn her supposed nephews into uh, old people, but I actually think that not only is she that, but she's also an alien, sort of like the alien that we see in Secret Agent Grandma. So the reason I came up with this theory was because of the um, same plot points that both Secret Agent Grandma and an old story have in common. Both feature... Oh, yeah. First, before I talk about the similarities, I've got to get through the plot of Secret Agent Grandma, but I'm not going to get too far into the plot. So, basically, in Secret Agent Grandma, our main protagonist has to pick up his grandmother at the airport uh, so she can take care of him while his mother and father... Are, well, your mother and father are out on vacation. So just give yourself a goosebumps book. And so... He, uh, our main protagonist, which would be you, picks up uh, your grandmother, and it turns out that your grandmother is an alien, uh, sort of like a secret agent alien person who's out to rule the world by making aliens and all the stuff, and so you, the main protagonist, have to stop her. And so, the reason I sort of made this theory that Aunt Delilah is an alien is because of this. Both Secret Agent Grandma and an old story have similar plot points. Both feature a main protagonist who is left alone or is never really seen with their parents because the parents are either busy or going on vacation. So they get taken care of um, by a mysterious relative that they have barely ever seen in their life. And it turns out, though, that their relative is a supernatural being. 
and um, they basically have to defeat their, uh, unbeknownst to them, not their relative. And so, you know, it shares super similar plot points, so that got me thinking that maybe, just maybe, both, um, I mean, Aunt Delilah is the same as the alien grandma in Secret Agent Grandma. And uh, you can first see this by, as I said before, the similar plot points. And also the fact that there are multiple um, people like Aunt Delilah out there that are feeding um, children prunes and stuff like that. So you can see this in also not only Secret Agent Grandma, but also Goosebumps Horror Town. It was like uh, Body Squeezers Revolution or something, that event. And in that event, they had Secret Agent Grandma, and she behaves very much not only like her book appearance in Secret Agent Grandma, she actually appeared, I think, character-wise to be more like Aunt Delilah, because she pretended to be a relative instead of actually disguising as a real relative. And um, also, she creates... Uh, dangerous food. In that Horror Town event, she created dough that would kill aliens. And also, she's an alien herself and wants to take over the world. And so, again, similar plot points, not only in Secret Agent Grandma, but even more closer to Aunt Delilah um, for Secret Agent Grandma is in the um, Horror Town event. You know, the Secret Agent Grandma also in the Horror Town event is more similar to Aunt Delilah. Also, further evidence is the fact of the prune juice. The prune juice is um, honestly kind of similar in concept to brain juice from the Goosebumps book on um, Series 2000 Brain Juice. It's not exactly since they both feature different powers, but you know, it's very, very similar in that sort of way. And... So, the evidence I have so far is similar, uh, you know, plot to the books. Uh, they are both similar villains, and they both, you know, uh, sort of, you know, make evil foods and stuff like that. And so, also, there is further evidence in this fact, and that is that there are multiple people like Aunt Delilah. In the end of It's an Old Story, uh, the main protagonist talks to this girl in the school, and she says that her aunt is constantly giving her prunes. Um, and so, unbeknownst to her, she's trying to turn, um, you know, that girl into an old person and stuff like that. But this automatically reveals also that there are multiple people like Aunt Delilah out there, but, you know, it seems like it would be now like an organization of some sort, you know, right? You know, I'm sorry, that's kind of weird how I said that, but, you see, it seems like an organization of people turning children into older people. So, there's a few questions that come to mind when you think about this. Like, first off, um... How come the police have not caught these people? They clearly are not too, like, scared about hiding from the police or anything. I mean, honestly, just, you know, um, their fingerprints, first off, would be all throughout the house when a child disappears and their parents would be out looking for him. And also, they reveal themselves pretty much to the parent uh, who doesn't even know about the aunt being there, or I guess never asked them to be there, but, you know, they're okay with that. Which is a further point that I'm going to say probably in my next bit of evidence, but, you know, the police should have brought these people down much earlier because they do not really, you know, care so much about what they're doing. They leave fingerprints throughout the house. Like, if one child gets missing... And they figure out about a mysterious relative being there that neither the parent nor um, the other, both parents can't remember who they are. I mean, honestly, that would, you know, 
raise the suspicion, there'd be fingerprint checkings, I think, and, you know, this whole thing would occur. So, how come this organization is still in business, you know? This is not just a one-off thing. There are multiple uh, people doing this, so it has to possibly be um, an alien invasion, you know, since this is an organization. It's not just, like, some random witch doing evil things. It's a whole organization, but... It most likely would be shut down by the police one way or another, so how does this work? How come they have never been caught? And I think one of the only explanations, other than a few other things, is that they're aliens. And also, there's this other fact. Ain't an old story, um, pretty much, the ants tell them that their mother and father sent Aunt Delilah to take care of them. But how could they have done that? Both of them, in the book, admit that they have no clue who Aunt Delilah is, and admit at the end of the book that they accidentally let the main protagonist and the main protagonist's brother um, be taken care of by a total and complete stranger. But, you know, like, this would obviously raise a few suspicions. They obviously know Aunt Delilah is there, since they mentioned them at the end of the book, like, where is Aunt Delilah? But, you know, they never even check if, you know, they first off didn't ask for her to be there. So, like, seriously, how did she get there? They don't question that. They uh, really don't question anything. It's just like, oh, she's there, whatever. And so that is so crazy how they just never checked up on anything. And just accepted her for the fact that she is Aunt Delilah. And so this is what I think. I think, possibly, that this is because of alien technology. Either that, um, or maybe with using her magical powers, she mind-wiped them or something like that. But I think if she did have real magical powers, you know, like, shooting out thunderbolts and, you know, all that stuff, like wizards and witches doing goosebumps, then it's kind of weird how she didn't use that earlier when she was actually chasing the main protagonist, like, why she didn't bust down the door and stuff like that. So she clearly herself doesn't use magical powers. I mean, she, had, she can make magical concoctions, but she herself can't do magical powers due to, throughout the short story, she... It doesn't even use them when they should seem to be absolutely necessary. So, I think the reason they got mind wiped and stuff like that is possibly because of alien technology. Also, here's some other evidence. In Secret Agent Grandma, which as I said before, is um, pretty much what I think Aunt Delilah's species is as an alien, that uh, there was this musical device in a good ending that killed all the aliens. And so, pretty much, I guess, music kills these aliens. And isn't it strange that in Goosebumps the Game, when uh, you defeat Aunt Delilah, that she is found with a cassette player, um, which would possibly be hiding one of her only weaknesses, other than she herself drinking prune juice and, you know, she died. So, you know, that's another huge piece of evidence that could prove that she is an alien. But, anyway, guys, I think this video <laughs> is longer than it should have. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below about what you think Aunt Delilah is. Do you think she's a witch? Do you think that she's an alien? Tell me what you guys think. And I hope you guys enjoyed, but that is the end of my video.